Welcome back. It's time for week 86 of our teaching ladder. Uh, one of our two opponents this week is Melkor from Germany. Uh, Tudon, who just recently made two dots. So this is very exciting. Um, yeah, we wish all of our opponents good luck here. And with that, uh, I'll give some basic explanation. Good luck. So the idea behind this teaching ladder is that... Oh, let me check. We have a comment. But yeah, I assume he's just saying good luck. Yeah, good luck. Cool. Um, so the idea behind a teaching ladder is that this is a fun thing. And the object is to learn more about how to play the game better. Uh, through these little contests with opponents. Where you know who your opponents are for the weekend. And you can try to prepare for them. Or just in the heat of the moment, you might decide hey, this strategy looks fun, let's try this strategy today. Um, let's see, what shall we do here? This was recommended by Geeko yesterday, so we'll play this today. It still looks reasonable today. Um, this was also recommended by Geeko, so let's try that. It's been a while since I've tried my extremely aggressive fourth file rook strategy. And so that this might be an opportunity for me to try it uh, once more. Let's blunt this bishop over here. And... Um... Yeah, I think this is still sane. We can build half Mino like we typically do. Okay. Yeah, let's continue building this castle. And in some critical timing, maybe push this pawn. Is this a critical timing here? Well, the key question is, what about this pawn advance? And to that, um, there are things I can do here. Am I prepared against a bishop drop? I suppose I'm as prepared as I can be. Now, if I push the pawn twice, pawn takes, rook takes, they can move the silver up. And my rook has to retreat. Um, hmm. There are moves I can throw in before doing that. That is a bit risky. So this diagonal to my king tends to be a risky space for me. So I can do something about that. Um, also, I can just build full Mino here. There's nothing wrong with this, per se. Okay, what's the notion here, then? Yes, they can recapture, but I think I'm in time to deal with it. Um, maybe I'm not. Pawn takes, rook over, pawn up, rook takes, bishop exchange. It looks fine. I'm too curious. I really want to know what's going to happen here. They could also bring up this silver. And against this, I think I do much the same thing. Um, my object here is to activate my rook, and this certainly does that. Um, if I push the knight... Hmm. 
Advancing the knight doesn't get me too far. Because I've both the places the knight could go are blocked. Advancing the silver seems profitable, though. And so we can kick the silver, it retreats, and, like, the board is mine to play with. Unless I've missed something. I mean, yeah, it would look cool if I had some other kind of attack going on here, but... I think this is sufficient here. Sure, they're breaking in. But they're not the only one breaking in. Also, I could exchange here. Silver takes, silver takes, rook takes, bishop drop, take the knight, take the lance. Hmm. Yeah, I don't understand. If I take this, the silver takes here. I can drop a pawn out here even. Um, is that any different? No, if I drop a pawn, they just take my silver. Knight takes. If they take my pawn, I can drop a bishop. They can promote without winning my knight. Um, but my knight here could be a target, too. So... Hmm. Let's say we do sack the knight and we collect the slants. Oh, they do have a silver in hand, so they'd be able to trap my horse. We've seen this before. Sure, it's been a while, but we have seen it before. Um, Hmm. So, if I take silver takes, pawn drop, rook takes, bishop drop, um, rook moves somewhere, then we exchange silver, so my rook is still not active. Yeah, I can't oppose this rook. I wish I could. I take, silver takes, pawn takes, rook takes, it's all the same. Alright, well this is what enticed me to play this way, so we're going to play this line. Um, understanding that I'm probably misplaying this somehow.
I drop a bishop here. If they take my silver, I drop a silver here. Wait, no, if I drop a bishop here, they trap it, but I still trap their rook. Uh, um... If I drop this and if the rook escapes, then the rook's a target wherever it goes. Wait, also if I drop this, they could like drop a pawn to trap this. And then I don't have my tactic. That would be an issue. The other thing that's floating through my mind is, like, I can attack toward this weak spot here. Um, If I push this, this extends the range of my rook. They move the token here, I advance my rook, they take my either my knight or my silver. Probably they take my knight first. I take here, they do silver takes, and I don't have a tactic to justify all of this. Um, if I drop the bishop here, pawn 5-5, five, five, Hmm. Okay, well this is what I'd originally thought. We're going to play with my original feeling here, but I'm nervous. I thought, like, this is, this looks so weak over here. On the other hand, I'm blocking the line my bishop could use, but, yeah, if I'm not careful, they attack very strongly here. Um, if I take the token, and they get my knight with tempo. I mean, they're getting the knight with tempo either way. Or with or without tempo, they're getting it. Um, I think this is a reasonable way to play this. And sure, they get to attack my rook. But, like, I want my bishop on this diagonal anyway. So I think this is fine. If they do take my lance, I can chase uh, their knight and lance with my pawns. I might be able to open this file for my rook if I'm lucky. Um, hmm.
but also I have this idea of a silver drop and taking here and taking there. And they do not have a general in hand right now, so oh, they'd have to drop a knight back here to defend. A knight can defend almost as effectively as a general. So yeah, my grand idea of just taking these is perhaps not that great. Um, okay, so they get my lance. I'm not sure what they'll do with the lance, but it's not a bad idea by them. Uh, their rook has moved off the critical line here. Um, hmm. I wish I had time to activate my rook this way. Maybe I do. But no, if the minute I try to move my rook over, they'll drop a pawn and a lance or other stuff to keep me out. So we need to go forward um, where we're at. If we drop a silver here, they drop a knight, and I can't attack any further. If I push this... Um, yeah, I, there are difficulties in my position. If I drop this, no, that's not useful. Um, well, my bishop drop looks silly if I don't try to attack. But if I do try to attack, it's not going to work. But um, actually, if I drop here, they could drop a knight immediately, shutting this attack down. So let's start with the lighter attack first. I would push this pawn directly, except they have two pieces blocking it already. So we need to remove one of these defenders before we can make progress. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, thankfully, my gold here covers the square in front of this uh, gold. So they can't just drop a lance and drop a bishop. In other games, I've not had this gold here, and lance drop, bishop drop has been decisive. So I thankfully have, well, a rook and a gold defending this. But, yeah, bad stuff could happen if I'm careless. Hmm. So earlier I remarked, you know, if I had time, it'd be great for me to use my rook. They're giving me time. Um. If I wait one more turn, then I don't have... Then they promote, and then they drop another pawn. So I want to force them to defend this. Whereas if I'd waited... Well, I guess here they can defend this with the dragon, or they could just promote it and it defends itself. So, yeah. But if the dragon uh, lifts off of my back rank, then maybe I rejoice for that.
So, yeah, I could move my rook. Um, why did I move it so quickly? Yeah, honestly, I could have... There's other stuff I could have done. Poor time management on my part. I should have used my time while I had it. So now they're going to drop another the knight here. And yeah, my rook is trapped. So I could spend another move trying to excavate my rook. It's not all law loss, but um, I've had better. But yeah, I should have either played this pawn advanced first, or taken the knight or something. Now if I'd taken the knight, we'd be in the same dilemma. Um, but yeah, pushing the pawn first would have made more sense, because then I could have gone up this far in one move. <sighs> anyway. Um... I'm still threatening to attack the knight and then attack the silver. Which means, surely... I don't know. They'll come up with something creative here that I've missed. But yeah, if I were given two free Tempe, I would take... Well, aside from just taking the dragon, I would take the knight and then push the pawn. Or another way to use two free Tempe. Uh, yeah. There's no fun tricks elsewhere. Curious. I was just remarking, you know, how I shouldn't have... Anyway, let me think. Thirty They want me to block my rook. Yeah, I was just remarking how I would have moved there voluntarily in one move had I just thought about my move order a bit better. I don't see a trick here, so I should prepare to see one momentarily. Ah. Okay, that's clever. Sanjubio. Yonju 
50秒1 230秒。This looks interesting. So I can try to pursue this bishop here. And give my rook more places to move to. I didn't think they would do this. <sighs> That's so weird. Why would you do this? Sanjuvio. Sure, Silver 5-5 five five is my plan A here. Sure, they can kick my rook around. Other stuff can happen. Oh, if they were to get yet another bishop, my king would be in peril. But they're not. So, how is their king not in much more danger than mine is in? Um... Interesting thought. I'm still not seeing tactics that work well for them here. It's getting closer and closer, but I don't think they have anything. Well, they have the slants drop. Okay, so my king's time is limited. Sure. Fine, I'll grant that. But are we all not mortal? Like, what have I missed? There's a cost to doing business this way. I have an attack here. It might not look impressive, but I've got one. So, 
Yeah, I still don't see what they're doing. I guess they're threatening to, like, drop... I don't know. A silver here, a silver there, that sort of thing. I guess that is somewhat worrying. So their entire attack rests upon this dragon attacking my castle here. If that dragon were to cease to be attacking my castle, wouldn't this attack stop? Maybe I'm just much too optimistic about my chances here. Especially because I have only pawns in hand. But, man, two bishops and a rook attacking in the same direction looks really nice. And if I get stuck in a jam, I can drop a pawn back here, but I don't want to do that. But if I get stuck, I can. They need both a rook and a bishop to attack me the way they're doing this. Hmm. I guess there's one thing I hadn't accounted for, which is this going there. Cutting that off. But... Okay, so I can take this, right? Maybe not right away. I don't know. Takes, gold takes, ship takes, but why would we do it in this order? I still have this pawn drop back here. There's one thing I regret here is that like, now it becomes even more obvious why they should plug this line. But there's no subtle way for me to continue my attack, so I have to continue in a rather obvious fashion. So I guess now I take the knight and drop it there, uh, but it's still not enough.
go back one and get forked here. Hmm, it's not useful. I could go back here. They attack me again. <sighs> um. Sanjubio. Oh, hang on. I've got an idea. I got a fun idea. I can't resist. Here we go. This might be a terrible idea. I just can't resist it anymore. I could pull the bishop back. Hmm. I thought this would be much more decisive a turn ago. A turn ago, this looked really amazing to me somehow. And the more I look at it, the more I don't like it. But yeah, this bold drop was the next idea. Um... I'll just keep hitting this, right? Although I guess this might be reasonable for them. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. 
I wimped out of bishop drop 3-1. Or 7-9. Um, I have a decent position, but I've had better. Yeah, the rook drop's not going to help them here. Unless somehow my king is much more vulnerable than I think it is. Again, they don't have a bishop here. So we actually spend one tempo rebuilding the castle. Sure, they fork my king's line and my pawn. Sure, they can take my pawn, but I'm not worried. It's just a pawn. Sanjubio. I really need this knight at this point, I think. Yeah, let's get this knight, which should be useful somehow. And if we could... Um, oh, that does plug this diagonal, doesn't it? How inconvenient. Um, well, that gives me all the more reason to proceed with the sack I was considering earlier. Um... Now we'll take this instead. We don't need that sack. We have this sack instead.
30秒40秒Oh, it promotes. Ah, uh, this promotion does complicate things. Hmm. That complicates things. Hmm. Thirty seconds. So I've been holding that for a while. The idea is to force the silver away from this king so I can drop a gold here. Hmm. He's my opponent's been aiming for this knight fork for like ten moves now. So we're not gonna allow a knight fork. Not that at least not one that gains a tempo. If they do a night fork, it'll be for material profit, not for uh, speed on my castle. Well, I thought I defended against this. Thirty 
30秒。I have to take this, otherwise, there's an immediate checkmate. But perhaps I made it here regardless. Interesting. Yeah, this is a square gap dragon, even though it's a knight's throw away. Um. Yeah, well played. Thanks for the game. All right, cool. So uh, then after playing the game, this is what's unique to the teaching ladder is that we get to analyze the game afterward. Um, so let's go back to uh, the beginning here. <laughs> So, yeah, I did not spend my time in one critical position there. Um. <laughs> so they played a consistent idea from opening... Well, they had a consistent theme going. Um... I think this is fine. I'm not sure if I should have played that immediately here or move my silver or what. I need to. I've been trying to toggle emotes only. There we go. There. Now anybody can chat here. It's purely Joseki that he played 20 times. Yeah, it does help to be prepared for the game. Um. I wonder if this is too early. If... Let's see. <laughs> yeah, I gotta rewatch Hidechi on this. Uh, sure. Yeah, that's fine. He played directly from the video. Okay. Yeah, and then I saw uh, Kyogen made a remark here about traditional fourth file rook versus silver 5-7 rapid attack. It took me a dozen or so moves for that to settle in as to like, actually yes, that's exactly what Hidechi taught. Um, uh, so, um, But apparently, all this... Hmm. I have to take the pawn with the silver now? I don't know. Yeah, I've seen this. Oh! Yeah, that's the right way for me to have played this. I forgot about that. Yeah, and then I have an equal position instead of a difficult. Well, it's still challenging, but yeah, this is much more equal. Yeah, this is cool. So, yeah, this is possible and therefore it's necessary. Um, and I just did not remember this during the game. I remembered like the first 20 or 25 moves, and somewhere around move 30, I got lost. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, this is why I need to do this first with the pawn 3-6. And that what saves a tempo on everything here. Yeah, in fact, Hidechi covered this as well. 
with the bishop drop and then yeah rook takes knight rook two eight or two two in this exchange and yeah here this pawn's already on three six so it's playable without the silver there yeah yeah, Hidechi explains this, and uh, Melkor explains it correctly. Yeah. Yeah. Could not at all remember this, because I usually don't play fourth file rook, but I got tired of being beaten down by Melkor with third foul rook, so I decided to play fourth foul rook today. And we learned something from it. So, yeah, I played off Joseki. Oops. Um, and, yeah, it was a very difficult fight once my rook's getting pushed around everywhere. And I did manage to put up something of a fight, but no, there was one critical position where I didn't spend enough time. Um, so, yeah, I think I remarked, um, let's see. Oh, it was around here, in fact, that I was bemoaning my ideas. Yeah, although Rook 3-4 is fine because my silver is floating. So, either way, this, yeah. I just could not find a plan, but, like, around here, this is where I most require a plan. Um, uh, yeah. So this bishop drop... I'm not sure. So, yeah, he thought he had this, but he doesn't have a bishop. Um, Yeah, I've got, I mean, so there's that, and do I have other things to consider here too? I forget. Yeah, so like a lot of stuff is really well defended here, but then also I've got this too, and this hits the same square. So... This also hits the dragon. So I'm not sure about this bishop drop since it led to this variation, but my opponent did manage to um, play through it anyway. Um, interesting. So, I wonder. <sighs> um, there's stuff I would like to do here. Yeah, that's the most tempting line. Probably even best. A pawn here? Um, hmm, but yeah, I think I have to drop back to continue this attack on this pawn. And there's still all this pressure. Oh yeah, then I take the bishop, sure. I just, this... Seems mistimed, no? Um,
like, yeah, there are checkmate ideas, but they don't quite manifest here. Um, There's a lot to learn about how to attack these castles, but, like, generally you need uh, four attackers. Uh, um... This is just such a complicated position here. I would need an engine to guide me through it, because it's just very tactical. Um, okay, it's going to follow with cold 7-9. This looked really nice for me, but no, I guess this just walks into it. This just... I don't have enough pieces. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is what I was going to do here. And it's just not enough, because he's got way too many pieces he can defend with. And even though I can start taking things and promoting, it's just no good. Um, Yeah, I figured, yeah, this is the right timing for me to attack, because they're attacking quickly. But, um, yeah, my... Especially I should not have taken the lance in the corner. It's just, what am I doing? Also, I forgot that this promotes. Yeah, I should probably, like, drop... Well, okay, yes. Is there anything I can do here? This knight drop? Hmm. Does this actually lead somewhere? I mean, it's a good idea, but, um, yeah, I think regardless of whether they go forward or backward, I'm, they still survive, and my attack is nothing. Yeah. Mm. I just need, like, three more pieces. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking. I thought I had something, but I didn't have anywhere near enough pieces to back up my attack. So, yeah. It was crazy. But on the other hand, like, if I retreat, they have silver 6-6, six, six, so... Uh... uh... Uh, if I can type. Yeah. I just don't have an attack here. And they do have an attack, so I need to be patient. Um, I've had many games where I've just, like, dawdled around not doing anything, and here I did something, and it was just terrible. And uh, it's okay. This is... Um, it would have helped if I remembered the Joseki. There's just so much to remember. Uh, yeah, I guess.
But yeah, that was impressive um, use of this solid castle, the rapid silver attack. Uh, they advanced and promoted their rook. They've used this Toki ineffectively, to my surprise. Um, hmm. <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't think it's too hard to break my castle at this point. Um, but, yeah. I guess I lost my patience here. I mean, sure, they didn't get to do their favorite knight drop forking my stuff like they usually do. Sure, they didn't get to immediately drop a bishop next to my king like they usually do. But, uh, yeah, they found some ideas and were able to make progress. So yeah, when they dropped the bishop here, I was able to shut it down, and they'd have to find some other idea to attack. And they found some things here. Um, hmm. I had some chances here somewhere? I don't know. Are there chances? Because if so, I didn't really see, like... Is there something? I'm not seeing it. <laughs> what can I do? I guess I just favor their position very much. Um. Oh, okay. <sighs> so there's like a, a bishop drop there. Uh, there's this knight drop. And then there's this lance drop. So I protect against these, but like, um, I really don't like my position. Okay, cool. Yeah, so like, I'm just not, I don't know what to do with this position. Like, uh, I think it was a mistake, this bishop 6-6, six, six, but I think my opening blunder was just catastrophic and it's very difficult for me to make any progress here uh so yeah i i'm not sure in my game move here this might have been fine it's good to break this pin so that's reasonable this again i was floundering here trying to find a good use for a move I think your attack just lands very quickly here, and I'm not set up either to attack or to defend against it. So, I mean, what can I do? I was trying to find, like, this rook takes and gold drop or something, but it's not going to work. Um, it's considering, like, this capture, this capture, this promote, something, but, like, I'm much too slow here. It's... I don't know. Yeah. Meanwhile, I've done what I can to defend, but, like, this is coming. Uh, this is next. <laughs> and I have if I back up my goal to try to deal with this, other problems surface. So, um, yeah, this is a good defensive move, because yeah, I just kind of melt down here. Um, yeah, you did suggest this, and... I think this is just crushing. Um, so I probably have to back up here and reconsider what I'm doing. 
that this is probably just dumb. And maybe I need... Well, this is hanging. So I have to back up a bit more, I guess? But... I don't know. What was my last move? Taking the bishop. What was my move before that? Taking this token. I debated ignoring this token, and maybe that's what I should have done. But... Like, my position still sucks. Yeah. Yes, that makes sense. Um, so... There's got to have been something I could have done here. I saw this pawn advance, and I thought this would have been an adequate reply, and it's just not. Your attack is much too good here, so I need to find something other than this pawn move. Uh, I considered this. <sighs> then I saw this, and could not find anything. Like, I could take this knight, but I don't know. Oh yeah, and then I saw this here. And this is what talked me out of playing this line, but maybe this is the best I can do. Maybe now I just, like, shut out the dragon or something like this. I don't know. It's not great, but maybe this is playable. Uh, what I did, it's not so playable. Okay. Get it. Um, hmm. Right. Yes, so that's the only piece supporting the pawn. Hmm. Yeah, okay. So this pawn drop idea of mine holds no water. So I can't keep out the dragon that way. So I should just do something constructive with my tempo instead of trying to defend. Um. Hmm. It's not easy. But yeah, something like this is probably what I should have pursued. It's just... I don't know. This bishop is more powerful than it looks. Um, if I'm paranoid, maybe I try to do this? But then this still breaks through anyway, because like, my silver's still floating. So... Yeah, I I don't know. You don't need to... Well, okay, your king is more distant from the edge than mine, so... Yeah, an edge attack can profit you. Yeah, especially because your bishop's located well for that, too. Okay, so, like, all of my ideas this game were bad. <laughs> uh, they were ideas. It's good to have ideas, but n none of them work out. Um... Wow. Okay. Yes, yeah, so I guess this game I was just too stubborn. Yes, yeah, bishop drop is better than I thought. I briefly considered this too. I saw that. Um, I just, what was I thinking here? Yeah, uh, well, it, yeah, you're right, it is something. What I played in the game was nothing, so this is something. You're right. Yeah, that makes sense. Ah, uh, yeah, I was too stubborn in this game. I wasn't willing to admit that I made an error, and things just exploded in my face for it. So, uh, that just happens, I guess. And I need to show a better temperament when I'm playing. <laughs> There's some fun in playing for an audience here, but I'm putting pressure on myself to like justify what I'm doing. I need to just focus and play good moves and not worry about that. 
But yeah, this yeah, this is something. I'm threatening uh, this head here. You don't have a pawn in hand. So at least for a while I'll have a threat until you get a pawn. Um, normally this knight 5-5 five five is a good idea. Um, I'm trying to find some way that your bishop and silver can check me on 7-1. And maybe it's not so easy to do here. Um, oh, that's right. So, yeah, if I take here... Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's much more effective than it looked to me just a minute ago. Uh, oof, how do I deal with this? I don't. Dang. Well, that's a new one to keep track of. Interesting. Yeah, I my attack is too slow here, so yeah, your attack just breaks in. Um, I guess the way to break a repetition would be to take this here. And, yeah, okay, I mean, yeah, we both have things we can do here, but uh, mine is not going to land anywhere near fast enough. So... Yeah, I guess this just hits very quickly, and there's not much to do about it. There might also be, like, a lance drop or something. Oh, well, okay. What am I missing? Oh, bishop takes? Okay, well, yeah, I guess point taken, this gold... I'm not sure why you'd do this. In this case, this gold just moves closer to the rest of the castle. Um... Wait, so this fork is not smart. Um... Yeah, so I guess... The dragon move doesn't gain and doesn't lose anything here. Um, well, no, it gains, like, you can, I can no longer block the dragon. Um, yeah, I probably, well, um, this, yeah, or, how is there not a problem with this? This is complicated, isn't it? So I can run away from that. Uh, but no, I thought there would be something to break this up somehow. Yeah, like this gold is floating, so we attack the floating gold. And if it moves away, we just reinforce the attack. Eventually, once the gold is dissolved, then, yeah, we can promote the bishop. And with more and more pieces, keep bringing this attack. This is one way to go, but yeah, you have to sack the lance to do this. I still think uh, using the token might have been just as effective, uh, but or you had to sack the knight to do this, but... Uh, yeah, this is one way to play. Oh! Well, yeah, the rook exchange doesn't help here. Because I can't defend with a rook. They just exchange and drop it again, and suddenly I'm under fire all over again. 
Uh, let me just take this and drop back here again. I guess there's a rook in Santa's hand, but um, is this something to be worried about? I don't think so. Oh wait, maybe this is something to be worried about, because yeah, the gold back there. Um, Hmm. Hmm. This is tricky. Can we do this here? I admit I'm quite confused, but um I mean, if we look at this capture, we've got this to contend with, right? Or maybe that's not right. Sorry. I'm getting confused about which pieces are golds and which pieces are silvers. Um, but I need to practice a lot more Suga Shogi, clearly, because all the spectators see all the moves, and I don't. Um, place a knight back here. I guess we could do that. Uh, oh. Wow. Okay, so... I thought this attack was going to break through. Where's the breakthrough? There's no breakthrough anymore. That's possible I've misplayed something. Yeah. But even if we go back slightly, um, even if we go back and don't do that sacrifice, which makes the game more interesting, if we just like proceed normally, uh yeah oh right he's typing here but other spectators might not be listening to the live stream um but either way yeah the your attack is quite strong here there's it's very well pronounced this knight five five surprised me um so, we might need to defend like this now. And, okay, so we have this exchange. How does this attack continue? Oh, right, yes, duh. Um, sorry. Okay. And we just drop back and, you know, we have an attack. It's fine. There's no need to lose our heads over this. <laughs> um, it's a nice position. And... Yeah, I've got a lance attacking, you've got a decent defense and a nice attack going, so... Yeah, this looks pretty heavily in Senta's favor. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah these attacks, these ideas don't go away. 
Um, and yeah, then meanwhile, like you were pointing out, this uh, Rook promotion, it's a slow idea, and it is something. Um, and what I played in the game was not something. What you, what we see here is something, and you're still better. But um, yeah, there's, I, I'd be hard pressed to find something for Gota here. Um, hmm. Yeah, even this is probably okay. Giving go to a knight. So, sure, they can, can go to can attack a little bit, but surely this attack runs out very quickly, right? Um, so yeah, I think I agree with your assessment that, like, this seems much better for Senta. Uh, let's see. Yeah, yeah. So, but this is still, I mean, this is the right idea. I just need to be prepared for the notion that I might be lost already. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay, that is a way to solidify this. Um, he thinks it's close. I don't think this silver drop's playable here, but... Um, interesting. I guess it's not so obvious how to break down the castle further. Um, like, in time this will erode, but, um, you know, Senta does have something. This horse does a good job defending and attacking at once. Um, and even though the we don't have a bishop attacking this way. The notion of if the edge did open up, oh, I think that would favor Senta, but it's hard to say. Yeah, this blob of four generals next to the king does, like, help go to live a bit more. Um, yeah, it's going to be a long game, but I do think I don't know, maybe it's just my opinion. I don't see how it is that um, Goto would have chances here, but it's okay. Uh, and sure, like, this is a long, long variation. We're like 30-something moves into a variation here. It's possible there is some deviation earlier in this whole thing that changes everything. But yeah, this edge attack idea is probably the next logical way to proceed here. Because, yeah, you push, and then you drop another pawn, and, like, if the lance takes, then the lance becomes prone. If the lance doesn't take, then this edge is a nice avenue for, for attack. Um, meanwhile, just toppling this here is going to be difficult. I have to promote some pawns, but right now I can't do that. So, yeah, I'm not sure what else to say about the game. Clearly, I flubbed the opening Joseki, then tried to play aggressively afterward to make up for my opening mistake, and that just compounded my error further and further, although there were some tactical complications that made this game interesting. But... Um, yeah, hopefully I'll be more on the ball next time. Uh, yeah, I was impressed when I first cleared the Tudon hurdle. Um, I made it up into these ranks. And congrats to our opponent for recently making that. Um, it's not an easy achievement. And yeah, maybe sometime I'll do enough study and remember all the things that I've studied 
because there's honestly a lot to keep track of. So, not sure what more to say, but yeah, it was a fun game.